Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about what brand new content we could actually be seeing later today arriving in Grand Theft Auto Online. So when I'm recording this video right now, it is noon really exactly on Thursday, December 29th. We've only got a couple days left of 2016, which is crazy. And that means we're coming up on the new year. And with that comes New Year's weekend. And for many people, that might mean a couple things, but for us in Grand Theft Auto Online, that means a likely new content and what we're going to be seeing very soon and that is snow. So I've actually got Grand Theft Auto Online open on my PC and my PS4. I'm in lobbies right now and it is not snowing and a lot of people have been wondering will the snow be making a return tonight and I actually think we need to be on the lookout for for snow and it returning sometime this evening. And there's a couple reasons why I think it's gonna be returning, as well as we're gonna be getting new content, possibly a new adversary mode as well. So let's talk about why I think the snow is gonna be returning tonight. Number one, we need to look at Rockstar's Newswire. So on their last big Newswire post, at least one that involved Grand Theft Auto V and the festive surprise, they stated that over the New Year's weekend that there were reports of another snowfall. They said, Look out for more white stuff on New Year's weekend, but they urge everyone to stay tuned throughout the week as more details become available. So this was getting people wondering, you know, when is the snow going to be added into the game? Well, the first thing I think we need to look for is Rockstar's history, and we'll look towards last week. Last week, when Rockstar added snow for Christmas, they added it on Thursday, so this time last week. And that was on December 22nd, which is actually a day or two earlier than everyone predicted the snow was going to be arriving in Grand Theft Auto Online. Typically, we expect it on uh, December 24th and 25th, which is Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. However, Rockstar really almost did it two days early for myself. Now, this is when things are going to get a little bit tricky as we've got to deal with time zones. So, because I live on the east coast of the United States, I'm on Eastern Standard Time. The snow was added in game for me at 8 p.m. So this is a tweet that I have from GTA Online News who was reporting that snow is now live in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, he was a little bit late. He was about 14 minutes late. You can see the tweet happened at 8.14. But regardless, snowfall started happening at 8 p.m. for me. So as I mentioned earlier, this is where things can kind of get a little bit tricky because 8 p.m. on a Thursday could be sometime Friday morning for you, like 2 a.m., especially if you're in GMT or UK time. If you live on the West Coast of the United States, if you're on Pacific Standard Time, that could be way earlier in the afternoon, like 5 p.m. So there's something that you you just got to have to use here. You can use like a, you know, a world time clock converter. There's a ton of different websites, or you could just go on Google and say, what is 8 PM Eastern standard time at my time? That's something you can do. But for me, it happened at Thursday, December 22nd at 8 PM. So because it is now next week and we've got new year's Eve and new year's day coming up in just a few short days, I'm predicting that Rockstar is gonna be doing the exact same thing. For me, snow is gonna be coming out tonight and just a few short hours after this video is coming out at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So that's my prediction. I really don't think Rockstar is going to break pattern with this. It wouldn't make sense for them to do snow on one day at one week and then for them to do it at a completely different time the next week. To me, that really just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And honestly, I wouldn't mind that at all because I know like many of you guys, myself, I'm gonna have a busy New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, spending it with friends and family, likely what you guys are, and I hope Rockstar understands that, and I hope that's why they do the snow sometime tonight, at a minimum Friday, if they do decide to push it back a day. But I actually don't think that's gonna happen because Rockstar on Twitter today kind of did one of their like teaser tweets. So do you guys remember right before import or export came out, Rockstar put out this tweet like, you know, last day to prepare for import or export DLC. They said this and they didn't really reveal a release date, but they were making it so obvious that it was coming out the next day or at least that it was coming out soon. 
Well, I think Rockstar has done the exact same thing today. So earlier this morning, they haven't put out a Newswire post at all. They haven't done anything. In fact, really the only thing they've been doing on Twitter is advertising some of the discounts and bonuses that are going on right now in Grand Theft Auto Online. However, one of their advertisements mentioned the snow, and I think they did this on purpose. So they said, paint the snow red with 25% off various weapons at ammunition, and they obviously linked to a photo of a guy using one of the new weapons and just a festive surprise advertisement. And I noticed this and I immediately tweeted at them, well, this would be awesome if we had some snow to paint. And I'm not saying that's a creative statement by any means, but a lot of other people said the same thing too. Like we do need some snow to paint. You know, if there's no snow in the game right now. What snow? It's not in the game. There's currently no snow. So I think Rockstar definitely knows what they're doing here. They know that that they're teasing the fact that snow is gonna be returning soon. So I obviously don't wanna look into this tweet all that much because it just could have been a very simple tweet done by Rockstar's Twitter department or social media department or whatever, but I think they know what they're saying. I think they know that people look into what they say so much. So I think that that is an indication that the snow is going to be returning this evening, at least for me, in Grand Theft Auto Online. Like I said, for you, it might be Friday morning, it might be you know Thursday afternoon. Time zones are a tricky thing, but I I think this is a clear indication that snow is going to be returning. And a lot of people also might be wondering, well, Mr. Boss the Wind, shouldn't Rockstar update their newswire telling people that snow is going to be arriving in the game? Well, not necessarily. When they added the snow and the Comet Retro Custom in the game last Thursday, they didn't make a newswire post on that either until the snow was already in the game. So I don't think that's something they're going to do in advance. And even recently, they haven't been doing newswire posts like that where they're teasing the content that's going to be coming. They just release it. I mean, look at import and export, for example. So I think that's what's going to be happening tonight. And if it does, that is going to be very exciting as I will be doing a live stream. We, you know, we'll be celebrating the fact that the snow is coming back and whatever new content is likely to arrive with that as well. So do stick around on my channel for that. I've got a live stream planned just in case there is no snow that we'll be doing a little bit earlier in the day. So don't worry about that. Even if there is no snow, although I'm very, very much expecting it, uh, we'll be doing something fun also. Now, now, let's get on to the new content that we are expecting. And because last week when Rockstar added the snow, I'm also predicting that they're going to be adding a new vehicle as well. It makes sense. They've got to update the tunables to add snow into the game. So why wouldn't they update the tunables to add a car? It's just the flip of a light switch should be pretty easy. Now, if you recall back to a couple videos ago that I made, the rumored order based on an image found by Foxy Snaps is that we're going to be getting the FCR 1000 bike next, and then it would be the Progen supercar, the Itali GTB, and finally rounding up whenever it's going to be releasing the Spectre Custom and the new Debache Spectre. So I don't know if that order is true. That's just how they appear on the in-game site. Obviously, Rockstar could change this however they wanted to. And honestly, I kind of am hoping that the order is different because I would love it if with the snow, there was one of the new super or sports cars added into the game. The only one I'm really not looking forward to is the bike. And that's not a slight on the FCR 1000. It's just that I'm not a bike guy. And we got so many bikes with Grand Theft Auto Online bikers that I am kind of a little bit burned out. So I am hopeful that it's the Itali GTB or at a minimum, the Spectre. And I would imagine that, like I said, if snow is added, we will be getting a new vehicle as well. Now, let's also talk about a potential adversary mode that could be added into the game. We know that there's one adversary mode left in the in-game files, and that is called Pointless, which is where your objective is to believe it or not, score points. However, there was also an interesting item found in the in-game files, a prop called Bomb Ball. Now, this was found by GTA Expert, and I'll put some images on the screen right now of what that is supposed to look like. And I think this is gonna be used for one of Rockstar's upcoming adversary modes. And I don't know what this is, likely a prop for an adversary mode, but I'm not sure what this ball could be used for. Maybe it would be like a car style adversary mode. Maybe it's something along the lines of like hot potato, like you don't wanna be the guy with this bomb. And in order to get rid of it, you might have to like hit someone else or tag someone else. I'm really not too sure. Maybe that's the adversary mode they're talking about. The only thing that I think could limit an adversary mode being added into the game is that there's still two times money in RP on Juggernaut through January 2nd. So I don't know if Rockstar would want to overlap those things. That might be something that would prevent them from releasing an 
adversary mode, but at a minimum, I'm still hoping for the snow and I am still hoping for a new vehicle as well. And speaking of the way the snowfall works, do you guys kind of wish there was a way to turn snow off? Now, I personally love the snow, but even though it's in the game, I think it would be cool if there was an option to turn it off, especially if you were in an invite only or maybe solo or private session. Who knows? I mean, I think giving players more options and abilities would be so much better. And I've seen a lot of people saying, you know, I wish we could turn the snow off. I don't really love it all that much. or I only really like it for a day, not really three or four days. So let me know what you think about that and everything else we talked about in the comment section down below. If you guys did go on to enjoy the video, though, like rating would, of course, be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. Or you'd like daily GTA 5 videos like this. I'll see you later today for a live stream and hopefully another one when the snow is added. But without the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.